Suppose you grew up hearing, like I did, the name priest for the leader of the church. You called him Father. And, uh, and his boss was a bishop and his boss was a cardinal. Does that make sense? And then you go to a church where uh, there's, there's no priest. That name isn't used, but there's a pastor. And you sort of think, well, that makes sense. And there's even a bishop there. And that makes sense, right? And then you go to a church where the person that was the priest or the pastor in those two previous churches is now called elder. But in your second church, the person that was called elder was the person that assisted the deacons who assisted the pastor. And in the Catholic church, the first one where there was a priest, they didn't even have elders. They had lay leaders. And I'm not playing with words. I'm saying that you start to wonder, what's the Bible say about positions of leadership in the church? And I grew up where the leader in the local church was a priest. And then I went to a place where we uh, were just having Bible studies in a house before I came to Christian Fellowship. And nobody had any titles. It was Jerry who was leading a Bible study. And Jerry's name was Jerry, and Jerry's title was Jerry. <laughs> Jerry was like a lot of singers, one, one name. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. <laughs> right? And when he said, let's have a Bible study, we all sort of sat in a circle and had a Bible study. And, uh, and so this topic of eldership is really one of saying, <clears throat> let's, let's go to the, the whiteboard of our life and erase it and say, what's the Bible say about leadership positions in the church? Does that make sense? What does the Bible say about leadership positions in the church? And Pastor Ulysse is going to teach today. But you see, when I became introduced to a Protestant church, elders were, was a group of people that had a, an administrative role in the church, right? But when you start to read it in scripture, maybe that's not exactly how they did it in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Now this is a very deep theological topic. I'm not making light of it. But I'm saying sometimes when we start to study it, we have to remember that the names, titles, positions we heard growing up may not match the scripture. And so if we're willing to say, okay, what's the Bible say about these positions? And even if I grew up here in something different, it's not pointing at somebody who's wrong. It's saying, let's, let's line up with scripture and do it that way. 